How you doing? This is Chef Nicholas Armstrong from Ciro's Restaurant, 85 Second Avenue in Manhattan, and this is oven cooked venison. All right, the first thing we're going to do is start out with this dish. Uh, we're going to roast a potato. I'm going to cut it on the bias. I'm going to make what's called a uh, Hasselback potato, made by putting small slices right down the potato. This is really impressive, but it's easy to do at home. Add some height to the plate, a little dexterity. Very simple to do. Just watch yourself with your knife. Now that I've made my incisions, I'm gonna go ahead, grab some uh, aluminum foil, coat the potato in oil, some salt, some pepper. I'm gonna close it up, and we're just gonna pop it in the oven at about 450. It should take about uh, anywhere from 35 to 45 minutes. All right, the next thing that we're gonna go ahead and worry about is our white asparagus. Just a little bit of oil, some salt, pinch of pepper, and we're gonna pop that in the oven to roast off as well. All right, we're gonna go ahead and turn our attention to our venison loin. Uh, I've already trimmed the sinew and silver skin. I've wrapped it up just to keep it, uh, you know, uh, nicely shaped when we cook it. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of make what's known as a uh, turner dose. We're gonna wanna cook these with the grain, nice and oiled up. The salt and pepper can adhere to it. I like to be generous with it and move it around in that oil. We're gonna come in to our nice hot pan. I got a, a blue steel pan here. This gives it a nice even heat throughout for searing. All right, now that we're smoking, I'm gonna come in. Let's kind of press our filet right in there. Get a nice sear on both sides. So the reason why we're cut it in half and we're cooking them on the ends like this is because that's the way the grain actually runs if you cut it against the grain uh, and try to eat it, it's gonna make it a lot tougher. And venison's already kinda tough if you mistreat it, so we just really wanna be careful of, of doing that. Okay, now that these have gotten a nice sear on them, I'm gonna cut the heat. I'm gonna add in a generous amount of butter here. Just gonna kinda swirl it around. Put that butter, brown it up for us. I'm gonna baste and give it a nice buttery flavor to the meat. It's also gonna help in the cooking process keep it nice and tender. We're gonna go ahead and pop this in our 450 degree oven for about four or five minutes. All right, now we're out of the oven with our tenderloin. I'm gonna go ahead and just slice off our uh, butcher's twine. We're gonna to wanna to let this meat uh, rest out for a little bit. By resting, I mean, you just wanna give it some time to allow the coagulated juices to redistribute to the meat. So in the meantime, we're gonna start our plating. First thing I'm gonna do is now that I have my potato, I'm just gonna set that nice and rustically on the plate. I do have some baby radish. This is kind of a cool feature. You know, it holds different uh, vegetables, things of that nature in between its layers. Adds a nice uh, depth to the meal. The next thing I'm gonna do is I went ahead and made a mushroom demi. I'm gonna put a nice pool right on the bottom here. I'll just spread that out. Go ahead and slice each of the tenderloins on the bias. I'll layer these guys in here together. Now we've got our white asparagus. I'm just gonna go ahead and give these guys a slice on the bias. Just kind of put these guys in anywhere just to give it that nice pop, a little height for your presentation. I've also got some uh, mushrooms that I've sauteed off. They've been marinated mushrooms, which are nice for the plate. So remember that butter that we let brown up when we basted this? I'm just gonna go ahead, and I like to have some of it right over my potato. All those ridges catch that brown butter. I'm just gonna finish this off with a little bit of microgreens, and this dish looks good enough to eat. This has been Executive Chef Nicholas Armstrong from Ciro's Restaurant, 885 Second Avenue in Manhattan, and this is oven-cooked venison meat. And remember, folks, Cooking is all about the flavor.